Hey everyone, sorry that it took me a year to make this video, but this is a video I've asked for of how to set up OBS to Zoom or other software. So, if you haven't watched a previous video, there should be analytic that pops up right now showing you the previous video, or you can scroll down to the description and have the link there. It'll be the very first link in the video. Once you have watched that video, come on back and we will continue. So, to make this work, you will need an additional audio cable. I recommend that you go with VB's audio cable. You can download a free one, or you can buy up to four more. Each pack is just $5 each, and you'll get two more cables per. And they're permanently yours. You'll get an email with the link to download them. Once you have them all installed and everything, go ahead and come to Streamlabs OBS, your, and then open the advanced audio settings. And once you're in here, you'll have an option of monitor off, monitor on, monitor and output. If you plan on streaming or recording from OBS, you'll need monitoring and output turned on. If you don't, plan on streaming you can just have monitor only and that's pretty much it for that go ahead and close then come to the settings of OBS itself go to advanced and you have audio here this is where the new cable comes into play so go ahead and set the audio monitoring device to your new cable go ahead and close that and then come to any program so zoom discord uh, Google Hangouts, I think they're called, and then come down to your audio settings, and you want your micro uh, set uh, speakers to be set up for the headset you're currently using. Do not set it to desktop. If you set it to desktop, you're going to have feedback. So just set it to your headphones, and you'll be aces. Then come to the microphone and go ahead and set that to your new audio cable. So perfect example is right now I'm talking to you guys through this audio cable. Test your microphone. So, as you see, it's a little bit weird, but that's just how Zoom is. Unfortunately, I've tried messing with things to see if that changes or not. Zoom seems to be in the issue. When I use it in Discord, it seems to be just fine. So, that's pretty much it. Now you can go ahead and start a Zoom call, and people will be able to hear all the cables you have. So, I've had a guitarist come out to me who's like, Yeah, I want to I wanna meet with my band and have my instrument sound really good. This is the way you could do it. Plug the instrument into an audio uh, audio. Uh, Jack and go from there so pretty simple now if you use OBS studio you have a bit of a different thing you have to come and do so come down to your audio mixer right click it go to advanced audio properties you'll have the same window pop up you can choose monitor and output or monitor only once you've set that to your prefer to your preference go ahead and close Come down to the settings, and this one, just go to audio. And right here where it says advanced, you have monitoring device. Set that to the new audio cable, and you're done. You can literally go to Zoom, Discord, anything. Set your microphone to your new audio cable that you've installed, and you're done. It was that simple. Now, there is something new that I want to show people, because I recommend it using OBS as the mixer. I've actually downloaded and installed voice meter and this taught me how to and this gave me a lot more freedom than I thought it would. So you can use voice meter, voice meter banana, yeah sorry voice meter banana, voice meter potato it does not matter which one you use as long as you follow these steps. So again go to this website which will be linked below you can come down to banana, give a second to load, potato, and, that, and or just roll a voice meter, which only has a few options. I definitely recommend potato because you have many more options, which even I might switch to here at some point. And then go ahead and install your cables. Now, to make this work, you need at least two cables, okay? So once you've installed two, and hell, might as well do three because you're gonna have you had to buy one of these, unless you know somewhere else to get audio cables. I just prefer VB Audio Virtual because 
they've been good to me. I've had problems. They've helped me fix them. Once those are installed, go ahead and come back to Voice Meter and set up your first audio cable to desktop, to Discord, cable C, however many you want to set up. But save one audio cable. You're going to need just one more. And everything like that. Now, in the previous video, I showed you how to set up the cables. But I will give you a rundown of that one more time. So, come down to the lower right-hand corner of your computer. Right-click here. Open Sound Settings. Once in here, you can set your output to your default cable. So whatever, like, it might either be A, B, C, D, the regular cable, that is your call. Come down to app volume and device preferences. Once you're in here, you can start changing things. So Discord, sorry, this is very important. On Windows 10, top is output, bottom is input. So Discord, top, I said to virtual audio cable B, which I have named Discord. Same thing for the secondary one. I'm not sure why I have two, but I don't care, I just did it. Uh, my web browser, I set to C. So I can listen to my music and things like that. So just go through and set them all up. If you are planning on going through desktop audio, like a video game or that kind of stuff, you don't need to change it here. Just leave it as default. As long as you change this output up here, you should be fine. Once that's set up, come in here and change these to the appropriate things you want them to be. So for me, it was desktop, Discord, Cable C. Now here where this gets important. These little buttons here, A1, A2, A3, all link up with these. So A1 is my headphones. This allows me to hear whatever's going on. So if I have music playing, A1 needs to be clicked. If I have um, a video game going, A1 needs to be clicked. If my friends are on Discord and talk to me, a1 has to be clicked. A lot of people I've tried to help with this keep forgetting to turn them on. Once they're turned on, you can go ahead and come to the appropriate section. So say that you want to have Zoom calls go through A3. Because let's say that you don't want Discord to be picked up, but you want your music and your video game picked up. You have these options clicked. Come over here to A3, or whatever, whatever one it is, sorry would it be A1, A2, or A3, click on it and change it to the new cable. So for me, that is cable D. Once I set that up, it's the exact same thing we did for the intro part of the video. Come down to your options, go to your auto settings, and change your microphone to that audio cable. And you are done. It's literally that simple and that easy. Um... And mean for all. Okay. So, I do plan on making a whole new Discord. There will not be a Discord link currently because the Discord I had linked in the past, people kept going to and spamming random channels. Um, so, I'm going to make my own Discord, which I will have sooner or later, where people can come in to help each other solve minor issues and problems they have with um, the virtual audio cables, as well as myself. Um, I'll try to help out as much as I can in there as well. But if you have any questions at the current moment, please just go down the comment section and leave your question, and I'll try to get back to you as quickly as possible. Um, I have had people reach out to me to help to have me try to walk them through how to fix it. Unfortunately, I'm more of a showman than I am a talkative person, so I can't really walk you through by talking. But, if you are comfortable enough to have TeamViewer installed, I can go ahead and TeamViewer and just do all this myself. I find that a lot easier. But this video is a step-by-step, -step, so as long as you follow the video, you should be fine. Um, other than that, guys, that's it. If anybody has any other things they're questioning or stuff like that, please let me know. I will try to make a new video quicker this time. <laughs> but, other than that, Hope this video helps you guys. I hope it works out, and I'll talk to y'all later. See ya.